Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Commutech and today we have a Dell Inspiron 14 series laptop here and the ratio model number of this laptop is 3421 and this laptop has come for an operating system upgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Here you can see this laptop is running Windows 8 at present and the user requires Windows 10 for this laptop. So as we know that Windows 10 requires a decent hardware configuration to uh, handle the Windows 10 load. So to install Windows 10 for this laptop, we need to uh, check hardware configuration of this laptop and then only we can decide whether to install Windows 10 for this laptop or not. So at present, this laptop is having a Windows 8 operating system. Here you can see it is a Windows 8 operating system here. But we need to check the hardware configuration before installing Windows 10 for this laptop or for any laptop. So if we talk about the hardware configuration of this laptop, I want to show you that uh, this laptop is a third generation machine and uh, this laptop is having a Core i5 processor. Here you can see it is having a Core i5 processor with the additional 2 GB of NVIDIA graphics memory and if we look into the BIOS of this laptop here you can see if we switch on this laptop and press F2 uh, key on this keyboard we can enter the BIOS menu here so after entering the BIOS of this laptop we can see here that the registered model number of this laptop is Inspiron 3421 and it contains an Intel Core i5 processor. It is a third generation CPU with 1.8 gigahertz of speed and it is having three different cache memories and the highest cache memory is of 3 MB cache and it contains a WD Western Digital 500 GB of storage device here and it contains the system memory of DDR3 module of 4 GB uh, capacity so here we can see that uh, the memory is uh, good enough to handle Windows 10 here the processor is also good enough to handle Windows 10 and it is uh, having uh, enough storage for this uh, uh, laptop to handle Windows 10 but uh, it is seen that in the latest laptops also which are having hard drive with them they are not uh, good in performance and they require an additional SSD drive to perform well. So in this laptop also we will replace the existing uh, old hard drive with the new SSD so it can also perform well for Windows 10 here. So let's open this laptop first to see what can be done here and if it, if it is possible we will also upgrade the uh, physical memory for this laptop. So to upgrade the hardware of this laptop we need to open the back cover first. This is the back cover which, um, which is covering the storage and the memory section. So first we will remove this screw. And uh, from this space here we will lift this cover upward. And now we can view the internal portion of this laptop from here. This is the memory section. We have two slots available here. One is having a single memory module and uh, other one is empty which can be used to add another memory module here and uh, this is the storage device of this laptop. So here we are going to replace this uh, drive with the new SSD we already have and uh, this memory if you see here but uh, before removing any spare part from the circuit board we need to remove the power source first first we will remove this battery for the safer side and now we can remove any spare or add any spare here we can see that this laptop is already having 4 GB of memory uh, 4 GB PC3L 
and uh, here we have some memory modules available in our stock you can see we have 2 GB of PCL series and the other one is 2 GB PC3 this is the normal one and this is the L series the L uh, resembles for low voltage memory module so this module can be used to, as an add-on memory for this laptop I will place this uh, 4 GB in this slot and the other 2 GB in the secondary slot now we have a total of 6 GB of uh, memory for this laptop and uh, let's move remove this uh, drive now and uh, here is the storage device this is uh, the 500 GB WD uh, standard hard drive so we will replace this drive with the SSD a new SSD we already have here so first we have to remove this casing which is holding this drive and we'll place the SSD we'll place the SSD in this casing bag Here we have placed this casing now we will put this drive back first we have to insert from this side and then we have to slide it so here we have placed the drive So we have removed this old drive and uh, replaced it with the new SSD here and we have added a 2 GB of additional memory to this laptop. Now we have a 256 GB of SSD and 6 GB of memory for this laptop. So now we will close this cover, we will put it back as we removed and also screw it now we'll place the battery back so you saw that it is very easy to re uh, replace the storage and the memory and also the battery for this laptop now it is time to install windows for this laptop here you can see that we have placed the memory and SSD and we have also got the display and I will also show you in the BIOS we'll press F2 to enter the setup here here you can see we are back into the BIOS and uh, as you can see here that we have the i5 processor here and now we have 256 GB of SSD now we don't have the hard drive we have replaced it with the SSD and we have 6 GB of DDR3 uh, in previous BIOS view we, uh, we, we had the 4, 4 GB of memory and now we have 6 GB of memory so um, I hope it is uh, sufficient to handle Windows 10 so now we need a bootable pen drive to install Windows and here I have a bootable pen drive here a Windows 10 bootable pen drive here and we will plug it into the USB port and now we will restart the system we will press F12 key when the Dell logo appears on the screen and here we can see the boot menu we have on the screen here 
and now we can select our boot device so here we have legacy options also and uefi options also so i will select this uh, vendor co product code 2.0 this is my uh, pen drive a bootable pen drive and now you can see that uh, the setup has started from the pen drive and here we will select the complete space and click next now the windows is getting installed So friends, here we have completed our Windows 10 installation for this laptop and as you saw that how we upgraded the laptop, we added an additional 2 GB of memory module for this laptop and uh, an SSD for this laptop for a better data transfer speed. So as we hope, this laptop is working fine with Windows 10 so you can also upgrade the hardware and software for this laptop by following my video so thank you for watching and if you like my video informative so please give me a like and hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel so thank you